Hi guys, happy Friday. Hey, so when I sent home our Sunday school stuff last week and it was all about fish and fishermen and the disciples who were fishing with the net off the boat, I knew exactly what book we had to read this week. It's probably one of your favorites. It's called The Rainbow Fish. So we'll talk a little bit more about it after I read, but I hope you like this book. If you don't know it, you are in for a treat. So here we go, The Rainbow Fish. The Rainbow Fish. A long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called, wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They are so wonderful, and you have so many. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are, cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset, he told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I really am beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly two eyes caught him in their glare and the octopus emerged from the darkness. I have been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus had already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales, my beautiful shining scales? Never, how could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. 
only one very, very small shimmering scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. Carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the fish. Thank you, thank you very much. The little blue fish bubbled playfully and tucked the shiny scale in among his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time, he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing, so it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. The more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish. Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possessions had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish, and happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. What a great story, right? The rainbow fish had so many beautiful shimmering scales that he was the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. But he was also sad. So what did he do? Well, he listened to the wise octopus and he began to give away his scales. Uh, and in giving them away, he gained happiness. You know, it reminds me of the Bible story that we had this week. Not just because it's about fish and the Bible story was all about the fishermen fishing for fish and pulling in 153 fish in their net. But remember 153 fish was so many that the fishermen couldn't even pull in their net to the, to the boat. They had to drag it along behind them as they sailed to the shore. That's the kind of abundance that God promises us. Well, the, the fish in the rainbow fish had a different kind of abundance. He had lots and lots of beautiful scales. But in the end, those scales were just things. And what he really needed was that connection with his friends, with the other fish. So in giving away his things, he gained what was really most important. Well, I think that this story can show us that the more we give away those things that we think are important, the more we can gain back the things that are really important. You might be thinking like I am these days, what's really important? Is it really all about our shimmering scales, whether it's fancy clothes or cars or toys or whatever it is that we've got at home? And those are great to have, but is that what's most important? Or is what is most important remembering that we have loving families, we have God who loves us, we have Jesus who gave his life for us, and we are supposed to be giving those things back away to everyone in the world. So I hope you'll think about that this week. I hope you enjoyed this story and that everybody is staying safe and healthy at home. And I can't wait to see you again at the church. So. Bye from me and from the Rainbow Fish. See you guys.